as far as like losing, like what did you go through? What was the process after you like to kind of get yourself back to training and and feeling, you know, like you want to kind of get back up, get going again? Um, I wanted to train straight away, but basically, like I, I tore my MCL, so I couldn't. I had to like limp around. My ankle was like a balloon. <laughs> oh wow. So, I had to like rest and that was really frustrating because I just wanted to go back and train straight away but I had to like rest it for like I think two months um, so that was annoying and I was like so down like the whole time afterwards like really hard on myself like unnecessarily hard like there was no need for that um, instead of sort of appreciating that win and being like you know yeah I wanted to win gold this is still a great achievement and that's something that I do regret about even like winning other majors, like I, I remember I won, I got double gold at Europeans and I didn't let myself be happy. Mm. Like I was like, but it's not Worlds. Like mm. that's the most stupid thing ever. Like this is such a great achievement. And I was like, but it's not, it's not Worlds though. It's not key Worlds. So I'm not allowed to be happy about it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a weird thing too, because like, it's like you, you put the, this big fixation on this thing, but then, I don't know about you. Like I, I've set certain goals in just different areas, and same thing. I'm not satisfied until I get X goal, whatever that might be. And then you get that goal, at least for me. And it's like I get excited about it a little bit, but then it's okay. What now? Right? Like I got, yeah. I got to do something. What else am I going to do? Do you have that same experience? Absolutely. And I, it's not a, it's not a nice thing to say because I think people want to hear the opposite, of course, but. Like, for example, like I won Gi Worlds and ADCC last year. And yeah. after Gi Worlds, I've just felt empty and numb. Mm -hmm. Even right. though this is my biggest goal. And then ADCC, right. the night before the final, I was like crying to one of my best friends because I was like, I was literally crying. And I was like, if I win, like, I know I'm going to be miserable uh -huh. because this is like the last goal off my list. Like, what else now? Yeah. And I was so like, that sounds really stupid. Obviously, I wanted to win. But, and then I won. And then I, was miserable for like two months afterwards. I was like going around teaching seminars. I was a little bit injured, like I had some injuries. Um, so I wasn't able to like train very much, so, but I was just going around teaching seminars, so doing loads of travel, trying to distract myself. And I was so down, like so miserable, just being like, this is it. Like it didn't feel the way, I, like my life hasn't completely changed. Lots of good yeah. things have come from it. Like, and now like I'm much more happy and content. Um, about it but it's such a strange feeling i think it's common as well i think it's a lot more common than people mm -hmm. like realize right and it, it, have you ever read the alchemist the book no no so, so in the book there it's like a uh, it's a fictional story but like trying to like share like useful messages um throughout it and i remember i was uh, experiencing this same thing before years ago and, and it was like one of those things where i was like i should be happy but for some reason i'm not and in the book, there's this story about this shop owner who th the guy, the main character is going to Egypt to see the pyramids. And so the shop owner who he meets in, I think, some like Algeria, Morocco or something, he's like, I want to see the pyramids, too. And so the guy's like, well, you can come with me. We'll go see the pyramids together. And he's like, I, ca I can't go. And he's like, why? Why don't you want to go? He's like, because if I see them, then the goal, the thing that I want to see in life, the thing that like drives me to keep doing the things that I'm doing will be gone. And then what else am I going to do? Yeah. You know, and um I, I don't know like what you took from it from me. I took from it from the fact of, and so many people say this and you hear this all over the place, but I feel like until you, until you get it, you don't really get it. But for me, it was one of those things where I had to get really comfortable and really focused on like all the stuff that I was doing leading up to these goals, because it was all that stuff. Like for instance, a competition, I get a gold medal here, take a picture. All right. It's going to go on a shadow box in my gym. Um, I I'm excited to, to lead by example for my students, but like for me, it was like all the training leading up to it, all the, the drilling sessions, the camaraderie you're building. I find the love for that stuff opposed to the end result. And if it's in the business, it's all the cool things that you're doing with the business to make it what it is for you. Do you think that maybe after winning all that stuff, do you think that it's maybe helping you find more of a love for the the day-to-day -day stuff opposed to just the end result stuff or did you take something else from it no absolutely like, that's, such a, that's such a good point and, and i do feel the same like i love this training camp baby i love like i love training day in day out i love learning i love getting better at jiu-jitsu um competitions i think for me it has to be a bonus to everything and i fight better when i'm relaxed and when i'm not when it's not my whole world um, right and i think I made it my whole world for so long um, 
um, didn't really nourish my friendships and relationships outside of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very dangerous thing to do. And I see people do it and, it, and I'm like, oh, like they make it everything to them. And, and it, that dedication is amazing, but it's a dangerous game to play because like I literally, I, I won these things and I was like, but like, what else do I have? Like, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> that sounds really sad, but like, mm -hmm. like I, I do have amazing friends and, you know, um, and stuff like that. But like, I was like, but I don't have my own gym. I don't have a relationship. I don't have these things. Um, and it made me sort of like assess the rest of my life and be like, maybe I need to put more effort into other things or, mm -hmm. or make yeah. sure that it's not my only focus. Um, and it makes you fight more relaxed as well. It makes you open up when you could be in because it's not like, you know, I put, put value into being exciting on shows, for example, or like, yeah, like having a game that I'm proud of instead of like just trying to nudge a victory, have a game where it's like exciting to watch um, right. whether you win or lose, if that makes sense. So, yeah, because if you if that's all you have in life is this one thing, then you become very needy, right? Like, yeah. and you know, I, I always tell the to, to put it in terms for like some of my young guys or something that I'm talking to them, I'm like, if you go on a date with someone and you're needy, like it, you're like clingy because you don't have anything else on the, you know, nothing else is going on, it's going to come through. Um, yeah. And then like when you're competing, and I know this maybe is crude, but when you compete, it's the same thing. If you have nothing else going on in your life, as like you said, and this is it, then when you have those chances for an opportunities for a technique that would look really cool, but it's a high risk, high reward kind of situation. You may not take the opportunity because if you lose, what else do you have? Yeah. But if you know that you have the relationships, the friendships and this whole life outside of this thing that is not affected by whether you win or this gold medal or not, then it's like, well, shit, let's just go for it. And if I win, win, great. If I don't, eh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'll always be sad if I lose. But like, there's a difference between being, oh, I'm sad that didn't go my way. I'm going to work harder and my life is over. Like, yeah. <laughs> the world is, is over. I'm so like depressed. I'm so miserable. I'm so hard on myself afterwards. Like, there's a very big difference between just being like oh that's a shame and like okay we'll go back and work on it than just like be absolutely devastated